What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Outriders. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at absolutely every class inside the game. So if you want to find out which class is best based on your playstyle, be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. Now if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Outriders content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now with the imminent launch of the Outriders demo on the 25th of February and the launch of the game on the 1st of April, it's time to start answering that most common question. And this simply is, which class is best and which one should I use first when jumping into Outriders? Now as an altered you have a choice of four classes, these are the Trickster, Devastator, Pyromancer and the Technomancer and each of these have their own specific skill trees and traits, all of which we can unlock throughout the game. Now in a game like Outriders where your abilities are absolutely key and we're dealing damage or killing your enemy will actually grant you health being able to play your way is absolutely critical so it's with that in mind we're going to take a deep dive into each and every class helping you make the best decision for you based on your playstyle. Now the first class we're going to take a look at today is the Trickster and this is a close range class perfect for those players that like to be agile and like to deal high damage whilst being able to manipulate space and time. Now each character has their own unique class trait. Now for the Trickster this gives you a 15% damage mitigation when your shield is active. In addition to this it restores 20% of your max health and 12% of your max shield each time an enemy dies in close range. Now as well as their own unique class trait they also have their own healing mechanic too. Now for the trickster each enemy that is killed in close range will heal you and also extend the duration of your shield. Now to complement the class trait and also the healing mechanic each class has three class trees all of which can be upgraded using class points. Now these are perfect for further customizing your character and each has their own unique playstyle. Now for the trickster one of those is called the master of space and this enhances weapon effects at close range. The second one is called harbinger and this improves the effectiveness of your shield and the final one is called assassin this is all about destroying enemies with both weapons and power and this brings us nicely onto skills now each class inside outriders has eight unique skills applicable to each class now for the trickster the first one which will be available inside the demo on the 25th of february is called temporal slice and this is a damage and interrupt type ability and this paralyzes and slices enemies in front of you dealing damage and inflicting a slow and interrupt mechanic to all targets. So as you can see there are a lot of customization options available and this is just one class out of all four available in the game. So in summary then for the trickster this is a close range class that is fast and can easily appear out of nowhere to eliminate their targets. So if you like to manipulate space and time, assassinate your enemies and return to safety with nothing but a scratch then the trickster could be the class for you. Now the next class we're going to take a look at is the pyromancer. This is a medium range class that controls fire and likes to incinerate their targets. Now they're unique class trait grants them 15% max health bonus as well as a 10% ability power bonus too. Additionally skills mark damaged enemies for 15 seconds and killing a marked enemy will earn 24% of your health back. And this pairs perfectly with the pyromancer's heal mechanic. Now as a pyromancer you can recover health whenever enemies marked by your skills are killed and as we saw from the class trait this will grant us nearly a quarter of our health each time. So for the pyromancer if you like to be a support class you can do this at medium range and you can recover large quantities of your health back by simply marking targets that get defeated. Now much like the trickster the pyromancer has three class trees all focusing on different areas. Now one of those is called the ruler of ashes and this is about combining weapons and anomaly power. The second one is called the Scorcher and this doubles down on any fire based damage and the final one is called Tempest. This is about applying status effects to your enemies. And once again the Pyromancer has 8 unique skills applicable to it. The first one of which we can unlock in the demo and this one will be called Heatwave and this is an Ignite type ability and this will allow you to summon a fiery wave that deals damage and inflicts burn to all enemies in its path. Now in summary the Pyromancer is a medium range class that controls the battlefield using fire. So whether that's covering your foes in flames, incinerating entire squads or even healing your own wounds by marking enemies that fall to your eventual inferno, this makes for the perfect fiery support subclass inside Outriders. Now third in our list is the Devastator and this is the ultimate pick for players that like to tear up their enemies 
at close range on the battlefield. This is often seen as the tank class and that will become very apparent as we work our way through the abilities. Now for the Devastator its class trait grants 24% health for each enemy that dies at close range and grants 25% max health bonus and a 30% armor bonus too. Now to complement that the healing mechanic for the Devastator will allow you to recover health from slain enemies that are too close to you. So as we can already see just based on the class ability and healing mechanic alone this is lined up to be one of the tankiest classes available in Inside Outriders. Now once again this class also has its own three unique class trees each offering entirely different play styles to support the tank class. Now the first one is called Entangler and this focuses on weapon damage and additional armor. And this is followed up by the Warden and this is all about health regeneration and additional resistance. And then the final one is called Seismic Shifter and this enhances any earth based anomaly powers which allows you to deal insane amounts of damage out on the battlefield. And once again the Devastator has its own unique skills the first of which will be available inside the demo now for this class it will be called earthquake this is a seismic and interrupt type ability and this will release a shockwave to deal damage and interrupt all enemies directly in front of you so as we can see this is very much lined up to be the ultimate tank build inside outriders it has immense health insane shield regeneration and allows you to take point and defend your allies whilst laying the smack down out on the battlefield so if this sounds like it's right up your street then the devastator is possibly the class for you now the fourth and final class that we're going to take a look at inside Outriders today is called the Technomancer. Now this is a long range support specialist that possesses the best healing abilities of all four classes that we've covered so far. Now it's called Technomancer for a reason and it likes to utilize a wide range of deadly contraptions and devices. Now this is perfect for players that like to be able to adapt to each fight on the battlefield and a Technomancer will have various amounts of gadgets ready for you to deal havoc to your enemies. Now the Technomancer is the only class inside Outriders that can actually heal other members of your squad, making it an invaluable asset to the entire team. Now as a result of this, it is one of the weakest classes inside the game, relying on its long range and defensive deployables for protection. And whilst that won't sound exciting for some, the Technomancer isn't purely a healer as it can summon some of the most powerful weapons inside the game and this includes things like rocket launchers and even a minigun. Now for the class trait this increases long range weapon damage by 7.5% and increases life leech by 15% and increases weapon life leech by 15% too. So those long range encounters will allow it to deal extra damage and also offer a lingering effect against any targets that come under fire. Now as for its healing mechanic, as a Technomancer, you'll recover a portion of the damage you deal as health. So if you are low on health at range, you can pepper your targets with damage and this will slowly heal you at the back of the battlefield. Now like all the other classes, the Technomancer also has three unique class trees too. Now the first one is called Pestilence and this is about further increasing your weapon damage and also your leech effect on these weapons too. Next up we have the Tech Shaman and this is about further increasing your health and also your overall damage resistance. And the final one is called Demolisher and this is about further increasing your abnormally power but also any ordnance skills by reducing their cooldowns. So as we can see on the Technomancer all three of these class trees offer very different playstyles and benefits to the Technomancer class overall. Which brings us nicely on to the overall skills once again there are eight unique ones applicable to the Technomancer and the one unlockable in the demo is called Scrapnel and this is an ordnance and interrupt type ability. This allows you to throw a proximity device and the explosion deals damage and interrupts the skills of enemies caught within the blast radius. So overall the Technomancer is a very unique class inside Outriders whilst it's an additional support class in essence it does offer unique traits which allows it to use its range and technical capabilities to its advantage. So if you like the thought of being an overpowered with Mr. Gadget sitting at the back of the map peppering your targets with insane amounts of damage and the Technomancer could be the class for you. So there we have it, a good look at all four classes coming to us in Outriders. As for which one of these is the best, that will be based entirely on your playstyle and how you want to approach each encounter inside the game. So if you want to be that tank class, dealing immense amounts of damage and also assisting your team, then the Devastator is probably the best shout. But if you like to manipulate time and space and dart in and out of your enemies, taking them out in the blink of an eye, then the Trickster is right up your street. But regardless of the way that you play, there is most definitely a class for you in Outriders. But be sure to let me know down in the comments below, what class will you pick and what skill tree are you going to go after first? Now, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new here and you want to keep up to date with all the latest outriders content be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon